Yes, everybody, welcome back to the Irish Hotspur. And in this video, we are going to be taking a look at all the different uh, predictions from our fellow Spurs channels. Our fellow Spurs creators have sent in their predictions ahead of our big Europa League clash with Galatasaray. We're traveling away to Turkey, to Istanbul, huge footballing city, huge footballing culture. And we'll see how these boys can handle that tough, tough away atmosphere. So let's get straight into it, everybody. If you can for me, smash that like button. Do get into the comments below what your favorite predictions are, as well as let me know your predictions ahead of this huge Europa League game. But let's get into it. Let's see what Marlon from Spurs Kings TV has to say. And also, let's actually take a quick look before I forget. Forgive my manners, Marlon. At the league table, we have Lee the Dorset Spur at the very, very top on 13 points. He's been getting those wins right. And when you're predicting the wins of late, it would look like you would get higher up that table. You have Kate as well sitting in sec uh, second. Dermatron really climbing up the table. He was a little bit... Uh, further down there, I believe at one point, he's on 11 points, getting neck and neck up there. Sonny hasn't sent in too many predictions of late, which is okay. He's given everybody else a little bit of a, a head start, and he'll catch up at some point. Harry Scarf starting to climb the table. And then Marlon, you need to find a way, my friend, to start climbing that table. But let's get into it, see what Marlon from Spurs Kings TV has to say. Hey, Jack, hope you are well. It is Marlon from Spurs Kings TV. I'm go with it. I'm miles all wrong with it. And here you are. No, on a, on a level, on a level, it is Galatasaray prediction this week. Two great wins. Um, I'm glad I'm the only one who didn't predict Spurs to win this weekend, um, but no one saw it coming. Brilliant performance, absolutely brilliant performance in that second half, especially. Saar deserves props. So it's Galatasaray. What do I expect? For me, it depends on what team he puts out. If he puts out a decent team, because um, of injuries at the moment, I think we could go there and get a victory. I said when we got Galatasaray, it's such a Spurs thing to go there, you know, and especially with that atmosphere and go and win. Um, but because of injuries, depending on what squad he's got, and obviously the international break coming up, I don't really know what team he's going to put out. Um, so I'm going to assume, if he puts out a strong team, I think we'll win. But I'm going to assume he's not going to put out a very strong team and he's going to put out a young team. Um, so I'm going to go... Mm, I'm going to go for a one-all draw. Um, I think we'll go one nil up early, but I think there'll be too much pressure from Galatasaray. You know, they haven't lost the... They've only lost two games this year. That was in the Champions League qualifier. They've won the rest, but they are... They can concede goals. I mean, you saw in their last Europa League game, they conceded three. And so both like to score. So I'm going for a one-all draw. Nice one. One, one draw to get it started off with. Not a bad place to start. And to be honest, I take it like I don't think this is going to be an easy game for us. We have a lot of injuries at this moment in time. We're going to be missing some of our leaders as well as, you know, Christian Romero, whether you like him or whether you love him as one of the leaders. He is technically one of them. I think Mickey Van de Ven is a leader by example. And it's also kind of that symbol of solidity, right? Having those two together in the back line, especially in big games like this one, we'll be without them. We'll be with Dragishin and Ben Davies, which will be tough for us. I think we will find that that hard, even though they have been playing pretty well this season. Might be featuring some younger players in this game as well. That could play a big part too. You never know. You know, they might not be able to to handle the tough crowd and the the tough atmosphere. There are a lot of things that could go wrong, I think, ahead of this game. And I don't think we should really lose our heads over this one. This will just be a tough game to get through. Thank you to Marlon. Thank you to Spurs Kings TV. Thank you for putting together that table, making, making these videos nice and competitive as well, keeping track of everyone's predictions. But let's move swiftly into Kate's prediction from the perfect match. Let's see what she has to say. Will she go for a draw as well? Again, I wouldn't blame you. Good morning, Dave and Jack and everyone at the Irish Hotspur. It is Kate from the perfect match, giving my score prediction for Galatasaray away. Eek. Uh, this game actually puts fear into me purely because they're savage over there and the atmosphere is going to be very, very intimidating. So if Ange plays the youngsters, this will be a huge test for them. Um, fantastic results last week. Hopefully, Ange is starting to get some respect on his name because he deserves it. Um, excellent display against City. Excellent display against Aston Villa. Um, people that can't celebrate the win need to give their heads a big, fat wobble. Um, Galatasaray poses a completely different challenge. I do expect to see some rotation. I think Udogi desperately needs a rest. Um, I think you'll see Saar get a rest, maybe even Kulu. So 
it's going to be, like I say, a really big challenge for the youngsters because of the atmosphere at Galatasaray. We all know what it's like. Um, for that reason, I am going to go for Galatasaray 2, Tottenham 2. I was going to go for the loss there, but I'm going to hold on to the fact that we can get a draw. In fact, scrap that. I'm going to go 2-1 to Galatasaray. As much as I want to do a draw, I just think it'll be too much for the youngsters. Um, Jim's in the corner shaking his head. <laughs> but I have to go with uh, my head and my heart. So I'm going for a 2-1 loss, which won't be the end of the world. But of course, it will dredge up the ant doubters and haters all over again. And you'll be wrong again. Uh, but I hope I'm wrong. A hundred percent hope I'm wrong. And as always, come on, you Spurs! What's Come that? on, you Spurs. Nice one from uh, from Kate, even though she predicted the loss. Nice to see a little bit of a Jimbo involvement in everybody. And do check out the Perfect Match, their channel. Same channel, just a new name. And they have them together now. And it's the Perfect Match indeed. So please check them out. Show them some love. Show them some support. Again, I don't necessarily blame people for not being too confident going into this fixture. Sounds like Kate really is not looking forward to this one. One that maybe she looked at on the calendar is just... Yeah, a fixture that she just wasn't looking forward to. One that, you know, spelled a little bit of trouble for Spurs. And I don't blame her. I'm going to maybe lean towards more a draw slash win kind of prediction. You know, I'm probably going to lean towards the win because I'm at full happy clapping mode after the last two wins. But I don't blame her for uh, for thinking that this might not go too well for us. It's a tough, tough team in Galatasaray. Tough atmosphere. And also playing probably a lot of younger players who... Who knows how they'll handle it. You know, they might handle it tremendously or they might, you know, end up, you know, finding it kind of hard and you're already facing a good team and things might not go well then in that case. But we'll find out. Looking forward to it. Should be a really fun game regardless. Like it's Europa League nights, Thursday nights against a big team like Galatasaray, historic side like that. It should be a ton of fun regardless. But big up to Kate, the perfect match. Now let's move on over to Harry Scar from the Scarfy Spurs Talk. What's happening, people? Big up, David Jack. So it's Galatasaray away, you know, our biggest test in the Europa League so far. And probably our biggest test at all you know, in the group, because I know we've got Roma at home coming up, but they're not in very good form at all. And they're close to replacing uh, the managers. They're going for a bit of a tough time as a club at the moment. Obviously, it's no secret. We know there's a massive gap in the you know, league difference, I suppose. You know, the Turkish League and the Premier League, there's a big quality difference. I think when you know rotate for this, there's some players who just can't play. Have played too many minutes recently. Solanke, Kulisevsky, Saar, and a doggy amongst them. Obviously, a doggy is a hard player to rotate. I think that's something we need to address in January. Uh, but I'm actually feeling confident. I think you know we can get away with changes in this game and also switch for the international break. I'm going to one Spurs. Big up. Two one Spurs. So we've had a one one draw, a two one loss prediction and then a 2-1 win prediction nice you know very very split that's going to really change the table it is going to be a massive game though and i think galatasaray should probably be one of the tougher tests that would come up against in this uh, europa league campaign in the initial kind of whatever you call it phases that whatever this is now you know it's no longer the group phases just these kind of preliminary phases here and uh i think to connect maybe harry's prediction with marlon's prediction from earlier the Galatasaray team are, in a way, you know, probably one of the stronger sides in this Europa League competition because you look at them last season in the Champions League, they actually had no problem with giving some teams, you know, tough tests or giving them a pretty good game. They know how to score goals. They got good players up front with Icardi and Osiman. This season, they've started off pretty strong for the most part. They, I think, got nearly like 100 points last year in the Super League. They had, you know, practically close to what you would think is like a perfect season, really. They were unbelievable in the in the domestic league. They're a team that don't lose often or don't drop points often. They score goals. They do kind of concede goals, like Marlon was saying as well, though. And uh, you wonder if that's our opening, if that's our window into making this a good game here, if uh, if they do end up being quite leaky at the back, maybe via, maybe via Davidson Sanchez. But big up to Harry Scarf. Really appreciate you sending in that prediction. But now let's move on over to Lee the Dorset Spur. Hello, everyone. Lee the Dorset Spur here, back with my prediction for Tottenham versus Galatasaray in Turkey. Wow, what a fixture this is and how intimidating and difficult could this one be. But listen... Tottenham are on a good run of form, right? We're doing we're doing pretty well. A great win at the weekend, one that we really didn't expect, um, hoped for, obviously, but didn't expect. But gonna be a gonna be a different kettle of fish this one. Um, 
A lot's really going to depend on Ange and what he decides to do. Is he going to go with um, the changes that he's been going with? Or is he going to put a little bit more um, experience in there? Given the injury situation and the fact that we're coming up for an international break, he may actually go with a little bit more experience in there. I'm expecting Madison maybe to, to come in, um, bearing in mind he was out at the weekend bar. That was that little cameo and what cameo it was at the end. Um, I'm expecting maybe Sun to play, having been uh, taken off, to try and get his fitness back. Other options are, are, are fairly are fairly limited. Uh, Dragusin, I think, will play. I think Ben Davis will play. Um, so I think there'll be a fair bit of experience in there. I'm expecting maybe Archie Gray, Archie Gray to come in. Um, so I, you know, I, I think there'll be a little bit. I think there'll be a little bit of change in there. Um, but I think there'll be a little bit more experience. So initially, I was thinking this could be a real difficult one, and we could end up, you know, hoping for a draw out of it. But Given that, what I've just said, I think we could go here and win. I um, think it might be um, fairly entertaining. I think Galatasaray do league goals. Um, and then we can let them in. But I'm, I'm going to be confident here and I'm going to go for a 3-1 um, a win. I don't think it'll be we'll overrun them, but I think right at the end we'll, we'll have enough. 3-1. Up the Spurs. Up the Spurs. Great job, Lee. Thanks for that detailed prediction. 3-1 win, we'll take it. So that's the biggest margin we've been given. We've had a 2-1 win, 2-1 defeat, 1-1 draw, and now a 3-1 win. And you know, he, we, you know who we have at the end. You wonder how big he'll go against this Galatasaray team. I do like the angle that Lee did point out, though, about the fact that perhaps Antipastikoglu could still lean on some experienced players for this game. Yes, we're limited in certain areas of the pitch, right? We don't have all the defenders that we would like. You know, in the case of uh, Ben Davies and Dragashin, they'll just have to be the the designated players there. And you'd think that Pedro Poro or Destiny is going to be given a rest in some case. So Archie Gray should come back into the team there. And he'll have a tough, tough test against some of these Galatasaray wingers, you know. And I think Archie Gray has been class in possession. But we'll see how he can handle some of those wingers defensively. But then we do have experienced players that we could lean on for this one if they are fit and available, which is a good point that Lee brought up there with Sonny, right? He could be preserved for this game. I wonder what Ange Postacoglu was thinking. You know, was he preserving him just so he didn't pick up any injury at all? Was he preserving him so that he could have him for the game like this one? A massive, massive game before we head into the international break after it switched town. And also he has... James Madison, who hasn't been given a ton of minutes of late, could try to come into this game, be the the designated number 10, you know, really try to unlock, you know, this uh, Galatasaray defense. So interesting points there for, from Lee. So please check him out, everybody. Lee the Dorset Spur, subscribe over to his channel. And uh, thank you for that great prediction. But let's end it off with THFC Till I Dies, Dermatron. And we know he likes to go big. Will he go bigger than a 3-1 prediction from Lee the Dorset Spur? Hi guys, this is Derma, aka Dermatron from THFC to Ladai, the home of Tottenham past present and the exciting feature under Andrew Postacoglu. And this is my match day prediction for Galatasaray versus Tottenham Hotspur in the league phase of the Europa League. Look guys, we're going into this game with a bit of confidence after a 4-1 win against Aston Villa. A great second half performance and of course beating Man City during the week in the League Cup 2-1. So we're going in with a bit of form. We're going in with a lot of form in all competitions as well. So, rarely and truly, three out of three in the Europa League. We should we should be really coming in as brimmum of confidence, but there is a but here. Galatasaray is not an easy place to go at. Um, the fans make it a really hostile environment. It really will be like going into hell. That's what it's going to be like for them players. And I know them players will have the confidence and try to block out the noise and try to silence the crowd, but we're going to have to do that. We're going to going to have to be men we've got no time for passengers no time for for hiding no time for nothing we've got to go out there and give it our all for 90 plus minutes i know we've got our injuries problems van der ven's out maybe romero could be out we don't know about his foot and so we could have a defensive lineup of um of Rudu Dragerson and the shrink and violet ben davis who doesn't like our style environments well he's got a grow pair 
Um, but look, I, in all honesty, normally I would go for a 4-1 or a 5-1 and be really delusional. But look, this is going to be a tough game. It's going to be one hell of a tough game. So I'm going for a 2-0 win or Ooh. a 2-1 win. Um, I actually go for 2-0. Fuck it. They're not scoring. Um, <laughs> and I think we will get the points. I think any. I think a win here, that will see us true. I think four wins out of four, I think that's us into the knockout stage and that's really there done and dusted basically but look it's important we don't give anything away we have to be strong we have to be determined come on you spurs and big andrew we trust we never stop peace lads like and subscribe here for these lads they do a great job thanks again boys come on you spurs Every, everybody show love to thfc till i die dermatron really needs to get over that 2k mark he deserves it really kind to us he's gone for a 2 now now is a 3-1 more grand and optimistic and positive than a two nil. I'm not so sure. It's hard to, it's hard to say. I would love to score three goals, but two nil is nice and tidy. You know what I mean? Like it's a, it's a very tidy sort of way to win. Very professional, clean, if you will. So let me know in the comments, if you're still listening, what you think is a more positive, more optimistic, more grand prediction, if you will, between a three, one and a two nil, it's going to be a tough, tough game. And, it's such a tough game that even Dermatron is intimidated by it. And normally he goes into most of these games predicting 4 0. So that's how we know this is going to be a big one for Spurs if they were to get over the line and get that win or even a draw, let's say. It's going to be a huge match and one of the toughest we'll have in the Europa League. But if we do get the win, pretty much solidifying ourselves at the very top and into the next rounds of this uh, stage of the competition. But big up to everyone watching this video. Thank you if you uh, reach this stage and please smash the like button, get into the comments, support these different Spurs channels, please. We'll see you next time. Come on, you Spurs in the big ants we trust. We never stop. I'll be seeing you.